Welcome to a Benito Lab training video on gel electrophoresis, part one. I'm Julian Lieber. We need to measure out agarose to make the gel. Extra agarose can be found in a pouch on the shelf above the balances, wear a lab coat and gloves in the gel room. I use a weighing paper because it's usually an amount less than one gram and I pinch the corner. Weigh out enough agarose for 0.9% of the gel's volume, so here we have 0.45 grams for a 50 milliliter gel. Add the agarose to an appropriately sized flask. Then add TAE to the necessary volume. The graduated cylinders above the sink do not have to be washed after measuring TAE. Microwave the mixture for one to two minutes, stirring occasionally. After enough time, the mixture should have no suspended particles. Cool the mixture to about 55 degrees Celsius by swirling in a bucket of water. I usually do about one second per milliliter. You should be able to hold the flask without it hurting. Get out an appropriately sized gel tray. You can borrow them from other labs as long as you keep them in good shape. This one holds about 50 milliliters and has 20 wells. Turn on the vent. Get the thidium bromide off the shelf. We use 2.5 microliters per 100 milliliters of gel. And carefully unscrew it. Add the thidium bromide and swirl to incorporate. Place your tip in the waste container. While the gel is still warm, Pour into the tray. Remove any bubbles with the pipette tip. Immediately clean the flask by adding soap and water and scrubbing thoroughly with a brush.
Rinse with tap, then distilled water. Remove gloves carefully and place in the ophidium bromide waste bin. Now we need the PCR product to load. Clean your work surface with ethanol and let dry. Cut a strip of parafilm, then mark one corner with a marker or pen. Open the PCR strips carefully. And pipette 2.5 to 3.5 microliters onto the parafilm. Larger amounts are better for more samples because evaporation will occur over time. Add the same amount of DNA ladder. Carry the PCR product to the gel room carefully, blocking the wind with your hand as you walk. Remove the gel from the mold and clean the comb, mold, and outside of the tray. Place the gel in the gel tank in the right orientation, walls away from you, and add 0.5x TAE to cover the gel. Pipette each drop of PCR product into the wells. Rinsing the tip between by pipetting up and down. You can stabilize the tip with your other hand. Close the gel box and set to your desired voltage and time. One hundred and fifty volts for nine minutes works well for one point five kilobase amplicons.
Remove gloves carefully and place in the Ophidian bromide waste bin.